Hey guys, how you doing today? I want to give an update on my beautiful Anthurium Vaterifolium. She is gorgeous. Uh, I got her from a lady on Etsy uh, four months ago. She's doing really, really well. I love this plant. It kind of uh, it reminds me of like something that wants to be in a hanging basket hanging down and I do have it in a basket in a pot right now that I can hang and I think I'm going to be doing that you can see here this was the first leaf that she gave me well I need to put my camera up a hair there we go and for some reason half of it ripped I don't know why and you can see she's got two blooms on here that I've lost track of usually. I cut those off. I will be cutting those off after the video. But you can see they're, they're nothing, nothing special. Nothing <laughs> at all. But I love this plant. The color of it, the veining in it. I love how it splays out. Really pretty. And then this was the other leaf it gave me. Or wait. Yeah, I believe this one was the next one it gave me, and it came out really good. And then you can see here, let me try to put this up like this. Over here, she's got two more new leaves. Let me hold it up. There's another one coming out right there. There's the blooms. There's two of them. I'm going to be cutting them off. I lost track of them with having the puppies and life and holidays. And then there's another one coming out right here. Oops. If I can hold it up. Oh, Heavy. But I love this plant. I love the shape of the leaves. And it reminds me a lot. It grows like a um, upright philodendron is what it really reminds me of. You can see you can see how it doesn't crawl up, it doesn't crawl across, it just splays out. See how it does? It, it's really a neat, neat um, anthurium. I love it. But, um, and it, it's pretty much the same care. I've been giving her the same care. I, I think I've got it in a little bit too much light. I think it's why this leaf might be yellowing a little bit. And then this one back here is an older leaf that's yellowing. And that's normal. I, I'm not, um, can you guys see that? Yeah. You know, not freaking out about it. Because that's the other, only one except for this one. But I think, I think I have it in too much light. I have it right under my Mars Hydro um, Girl Light. And I think it's just a little bit too much. So I'm going to be moving her over into more of a medium light after the video is over. And I'm going to cut the blooms off. But I, t I take care of her the same way I take care of my other anthuriums. I keep her soil evenly moist. She's in a really uh, airy soil mix, which is just, um, well, for my anthuriums, I use soil perlite, lots of it, and then I mix just a little bit of um, spag moss in just to help hold a little bit more of the moisture. And more so a medium light than a high light. I've got her in way too much light, like I said before. I do keep my room in here about 60-ish percent humidity. It's, it's never on the dot all the time. But I just love this. I think um, when I move her, I'm going to put one of my other plants down where I had her, and then I'm going to go ahead and put the hangers on and hang her up. Because that's what I originally bought it for, was to hang. So, it's just gorgeous. I love how long the leaves are. And so far, um, I've been really lucky pest-wise. Ha she hasn't had spider mites. Um... 
nothing. It, it's just been a really easy going plant except for this one leaf that I think it just got stuck when it was growing. You can see right here how half the leaf, but it that it doesn't bother me. I'm not going to cut it off or anything. I'll let it go. And um, when this one yellow finishes yellowing down the older leaf, I'll just let it die out naturally and then cut it off when it gets unpresentable enough. But you can see by the original leaves that came with the plant, the ones that I've grown in my care are bigger. So I don't know the full potential of how, how big these leaves will get. But I'm excited to find out. I'm excited to get her hung up. Um, I might put my Syngonium lanocarte in her spot down there and hang her up where she is and see how she does hanging. I'm sure it will be really, really pretty with her leaves all hanging down. And then I've got these two new leaves coming in. That's great. But yeah, easy plant. Um, I probably paid a little bit too much for it, but I seen it. I did some research on it. And I just really wanted to get this plant. Um, I, I think it's pretty, and I think it's going to be even prettier once she starts hanging down over the pot. So, yeah, I've had her for four months now, and I think she's doing really, really well, except for that I moved her over into a higher light, which this leaf is telling me she does not like that. So... gorgeous and you can see the back they're just plain but they're they're like they have like a silvery sheen to them oh you can't see god it's so hard to get you see it's got like a silvery sheen to it and the stems are kind of squared it's really a cool it's really a cool plant See how the leaves are kind of squared off? They're kind of in actually a triangle. And they're kind of flat and plump. Neat plant. So I'm going to be hanging her up. And I think it's, I think it's time. I think it's past time. <laughs> I just haven't had a good spot to hang her. But I think if I switch those two plants around, it'll do good. So, yeah. Let me make sure I said the right name, because you guys know how I am. Yeah, the Linarium. I don't know how to say it correctly, but I'll put the name up on on the screen. You guys can figure out how to pronounce how to pronounce it, because I sure can't. <laughs> All right, that's all I got to say about her today. I think she's gorgeous, and I really have been enjoying her, and I can't wait to see her hanging up and kind of hang down across maybe over the pot. I've seen a few other people's growing them like that, and they look really cool. So, all right, I'm going to let you guys go, and I will talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye. Peace.